Good morning, Jan. Continues to be the main story this week. A powerful winter blast continuing up the east coast today, bringing frigid temps, powerful wind gusts and flooding, triggering high water rescues. This morning, we know of at least four storm related deaths to the national death radar. That powerful storm system now moves over the Boston to Maine region after wreaking havoc on the central plains. As of 11 p.m. Tuesday, nearly 900,000 people in the U.S. were without power. That number has since gone down to more than 600,000, but it is expected to tick back up later today as that storm moves in. It also caused major travel trouble. Look here, Tuesday, more than 1,400 flights were canceled and nearly 9,000 flights were delayed across the country. In Iowa, images from across the state showing the snow really piled up. Des Moines Airport reported nearly a foot of snow Tuesday. Iowa City saw a whopping 15 inches. To a live look now over downtown Des Moines, where the snowstorm upended some GOP campaign plans. Both Vivek Ramaswamy and former President Donald Trump were forced to cancel events in the state less than a week from the caucuses. At the same time, Florida's panhandle heavily damaged from several suspected tornadoes. You can see down power lines and damage to buildings and homes. Here's a look ahead at today's threats. Over half the U.S. population remains under wind alerts sprawling across the Northeast, while others remain under winter storm and flood warnings. The latest developments right here at the Lime Desk. A lot going on this morning online all the time for updates on the National Weather Desk, part of the nationaldesk.com.